carbon removal is often referred to as a, as a newborn industry, uh, emerging industry, uh, something that's just beginning. To me, it's starting to look like carbon removal is hitting a new stage of maturity. I look at the Musk Foundation and XPRIZE with the $100 million XPRIZE carbon removal. Uh, I, I think about the carbon removal purchases by Stripe, Shopify, and Microsoft millions of dollars over the last couple years, uh, going to dozens of startup companies, removing carbon from the air. Climeworks just last week announced their new Orca facility. More than announced, they unveiled it. It's happening and it can pull 4,000 tons of carbon dioxide from the air every year. Uh, and then this morning I woke up and here's Prometheus Fuels uh, raising a Series B at a $1.5 billion market cap valuation. Wow. So something's really happening from Musk and XPRIZE, Fortune 500 companies, startups. There's a lot happening. So what does a mature carbon removal industry even look like? We're talking about marketplaces for carbon removal, companies that are pulling carbon from the air, customers that are purchasing the carbon, uh, whether it's governments or, or corporations or individuals. That's the, the skeleton for what a mature carbon removal industry looks like. Implied in there are uh, a marketplace that can handle billions or even trillions of dollars of transactions around carbon removal. Something like a NASDAQ for carbon removal or even NASDAQs. That means we've got things figured out in terms of verification, capture, storage. The whole stack of carbon removal is going to have leaders and companies uh, and people working at those companies to make that happen. We're going to have every country on the planet is going to have some sort of carbon removal policy and carbon removal plan. That means people working on those and implementing them. To feed into those billion and trillion dollars of purchases, you're going to need thousands of startup companies. That means tens of thousands of people working at those companies. We're going to need a educational pipeline to help people get into this industry in a way that starts in high school, goes into college, trade school, to be able to be a part of the carbon removal industry in order to lead the carbon removal industry. That's what it's gonna take to not just get to gigaton scale carbon removal, but to, 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 to be in gigaton scale carbon removal, to be in a world where we're, move, we're removing gigatons of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. It's marketplaces, it's removers, it's countries and governments and customers, and everything in between. It's, it's communities and accountants and entrepreneurs and artists. That's what a mature carbon removal industry is going to look like. So my question to all of you is, is what else? Is there some piece of that future that you want to help build or you want to lead? There's plenty of room to, to create so many of these these pieces of this industry. Maybe there's other things that you're thinking about, things that I didn't mention here. We need more people painting a picture of what a mature carbon removal industry looks like. So if you've got thoughts, if you've got ideas, if you've got questions, go post on Airminer Slack about it and, and get those ideas out there. Start talking with other people about what does this industry look like at gigaton scale and what are all the things that are missing and just get a vision of the future and, and just work backwards and just see what's missing. And, and I can tell you pretty much all of it is missing today. We're just the very beginning of, of building this industry. It means there's tons of room to create new structures, new companies, uh, new organizations to make this happen. So I'll see you on Airminer Slack and I look forward to hearing more about uh, this industry as it matures.